Hi, my name is Lauren. Welcome back to my channel and I hope you're doing well. So, over the past couple weeks I've been thinking a lot about old TV shows from when we were younger. Like for example, a couple weeks ago I finished my final exams, as you know, and I watched, like on the Thursday night before my Friday exam, I was on YouTube and I was just watching theme songs from old late 90s, early 2000s TV shows and I just fell back in love with all the shows I used to watch growing up. And I actually, on the Friday night and the Saturday and the Sunday and the Monday, after I finished my exams, I watched a whole season of one of my favourite shows growing up. And so that just inspired me to make this video. Also, I was at a party on Sunday and we were just talking about it and throwing around ideas of all the shows we used to watch when I, we were younger. So I thought it was an excellent opportunity to make a video on this whole topic of shows from when we were younger. Let's get So, let's get started. The first show I used to watch when I was younger is actually the show I binge watched over that whole weekend and that's Blue Water High. So I don't know if many of you know it, but from, from who I've spoken to, a lot of people used to watch this. But it's just an Australian show about seven teenagers who were chosen like in a surfing competition to go to a surfing academy. And I just used to watch this show religiously. I still love it. Love it. Like the acting, you know, is a little dodgy because it's Aussie TV. Like, what, what can you expect? But honestly, one of my absolute favourite shows from when I was younger. Okay, so the second show I used to be obsessed with when I was young about this little boy. And he was about this tall, about like six inches, give or take a bit. I used to want, with like an avid passion, to be six inches tall. Because it just looked like George had so much fun. He had a little car, he used to drive around when in. And I used to imagine like, I could go to gymnastics. They could just make a smaller little gymnasium for me. And I could just work out alongside everyone else. And... I used to just have so many little plots in my head of what it would be like to be six inches tall. Okay, so the third show I used to watch growing up was actually a staple. Not really a staple, but it was one of my favourites, especially in school holidays or when we were sick. Because in my house, we weren't allowed to watch TV in the mornings because mum said it distracted us. So when you were sick or in school holidays, Martin Morning. That was the thing to watch. You've got to watch Martin Morning. So Martin Morning wasn't just another cartoon about this kid and every morning he woke up with a different personality or a different outfit and it would be about his adventures and his personality with that sort of day. Like some days he was a weird, what was happening in his day would go alongside with what was happening with his outfits. It was just like a basic cartoon but I just remember loving that show so much. Okay, so the fourth show I used to watch is a little nerdy but I know a lot of people watch this. It's called Cyber Chase. And it was about these three kids and they just would solve, use math, if I remember correctly. Maths and English and just, they were really smart and they would, would use that to defeat the evil type person, like the enemy. And I just remember really liking that show. So the fifth show I used to watch is probably one that most people know. But it's good old Hannah Montana, you know, Saturday Disney, from 7am to whatever time it finished, Hannah Montana was there. And like growing up, I used to really love Hannah Montana. I used to have pens, books, clothes. Hannah Montana on CD. We used to have the Hannah Montana Wii game. I just honestly used to love Hannah Montana. So the sixth show I used to watch, which I still sort of really, really love, is Jonas. And I'm looking everywhere for the episodes on YouTube, but it's just Jonas, like the show about the three Jonas brothers, you know, Kevin, Nick, and Joe. I remember loving this show so much, and I still really feel like rewatching Jonas. That's the main thing that I want to rewatch, Jonas. So the seventh show, which I'm pretty sure was like massive for all of us, was Kim Possible. It's on Saturday Disney. I honestly loved Kim Possible so much. And just as I used to just really respect Kim and look up to the cartoon character a lot. I don't even know why, but I used to really love Kim. The eighth show I used to love when I was growing up was The Saddle Club. Now I don't know if they have this overseas. But I used to really love the Saddle Club. Like, I have the CD, I have plush toys of the horses, we went to the live show. We used to have episodes on video, like VCR. Now, if you didn't watch this show, I'm pretty sure most of you would have, and it's That's So Raven. It's one of the best shows for young kids to watch, because Raven, she fought for what she believed in. She was herself in absolutely every way. And just the, na the positive nature, it reflected her family life. And the tenth and final show, which probably played the most massivest role in my childhood, was in fact The Simpsons. And I remember we made sure my parents couldn't watch the news so we could watch The Simpsons. And I just used to honestly love it so much. And when we went down and visited my grandparents, they watched the news so we weren't allowed to watch The Simpsons. 
and that used to just upset me so much. I even remember thinking like, 6 o'clock Simpsons, 6.30, it finished. And Neighbours came on and we were like, ew, quick, turn it off, get that off my TV, ugh, yuck. And then I remember when I started to get older, I noticed that a lot of overseas, that Neighbours was such a big hit and I like, I think it was, ew. Why? I hated that show. I remember when the movie came out, it was so exciting because, oh my gosh, there's a Simpsons movie. Like, the show's been going on for years. The Treehouse of Horror episodes. Just the, the Simpsons in general was such a big part of my childhood. We used to watch it so much. I hope you enjoyed. That was just a little throwback to all the shows I used to watch when I was growing up. And I know I miss so many, like Parallax and Round the Twist. So feel free to leave those in the comments below telling me what shows you used to watch when you were growing up because I might check them out if I get super bored. So I hope you have a lovely day and a lovely week, and I will see you next time.